Well, hello everyone, and here I am with another LEGO Star Wars solo review, and this one is on the Imperial AT Hauler. So on the front of the large box here, see LEGO Star Wars, the border of it, and picture of the set in action, Disney's logo, all the minifigures included, and then age recommendations 9 through 14, set number 75219, and has 829 pieces. see it in a resting position how you uh, uh, attach it to the eight Imperial conveyance transport and all and now to the booklet on the booklet same picture on the front but a little something odd is that the Star Wars logo on this is in red instead of yellow so red like the last Jedi ones if anyone knows why tell in the comments it's which I find kind of weird, but whatever. But on the back, win on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set. And then add for Lego Life and how it connects with the conveyance transport again. Add for all the summer sets. Add for all the minifigures that come with the summer sets. And the last steps. First of all, is a newish version of Kira. Well, the outfit, which is kind of similar to that of her in the Castle Rumbling Falcon, or I mean, just the face print and hair piece, also. But the, actually, the torso print is quite a little different than that one, and also holding a small pistol there. And here's a good look at her from the back with her double side face. And finally, Val making the first appearance of which. So the uh, torso printing and leg printing looks good. Looks really good. And the face print of which kind of well captures it, can, but also can be used in other uh, characters. And yeah. And also holding a gunmetal gray small pistol there and the uh, hair piece which is just about the same as in the collectible minifigs line but nice to see it with this character and then on the back of which as you can see and then there's the back printing and double side face with the goggles and all uh, if it decides to focus yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry about that. Okay, there we go. Well, there's the back printing and double side face. And next up is who you get two of in this set is Dryden Guard. As you see, torso printing, which does look quite well, and holding a silver small pistol there, kind of interesting. And also the head pieces, which are sculpted pretty well and have all right printing on them, I think kind of well captures them from the film. And then there he is from the back with some very slight back printing. And also the hair sculpting from the back of the head. And last but not least, is the main draw for it is Rio Durant. Who I think looks is probably like the best mini thing in this set. So, so the new headpiece of which, which is sculpted quite goodly. Yeah. yeah, bright blue color and some nice printing to it. But one of the neat things of it is the 
double molded uh, mini fig arms, which so it's just two mini fig arms, but just molded together to give his forearm appearance. Since in the film he's a forearmed character, and all, and also the short legs there. And there he is from the back with some good back printing. And that is it with him. And with this, I do put a little accessory with it. Is is the little, uh, little, uh, large crate of some kind. So it has those large panel pieces, which are probably from like a city set, uh, but used on it's kind of simple but a little effective. But also get a couple of doors with a few clear stickers on it. And also on the top part of it with this large Technic beam, which you'll see later on. And you can open the doors like so. And inside it, with this little gun rack, like you get in the advent calendars, and a little jumper like plate with a little sticker on it. You can slide it in like so. Is the Imperial Hauler itself. So, so a lot of good stock techniques going all over is like those little uh, plate like pieces and also good use of those like technic panel pieces. Is, but also a little bit of stud techniques on there but with those like panel like pieces with the little stickers on them but also get the those big ugly wheel pieces also with a small technic panel piece but it's for, which is for the main feature which you'll see in a bit and in the back part of it with a, with a an exhaust pipe piece and also a couple little thrusters there but also what these things are for which you'll see in a bit but also this undercarriage part with the large technic pieces in brown and you wonder can it like hold a mini fig onto it well actually not really no unless they were sitting down but on the film thing it has enough room to stand up in like, why not make it a little taller for that? So, onto the, like, head part, area part of it. So it's this back area. Which does have good use of the, like, sloping pieces. Is with some stickers on them. And also a large area with some alright little greebling detailing. And then this front part of it with the like little dish pieces with a line on them, kind of like that in one of the Rebels sets. In this front area of it, that has the uh, one of the like panel pieces, but in clear and also a clear sticker on it. And this can like lift it up. And then reveal the cockpit area of it. See, with a couple like printed, or I mean, sticker pieces. Is there? And also enough space to like fit your Rio Duran fig onto it. Like so. And now to one of the main features of which. So to land this. Can like lift these up and those little things acting as landing gear, like so. Kind of a bit like uh, Kylo Ren's uh, Imperial shuttle or something. But at least uh, not as bad as that one. 
and not uh, the other main feature of which is with the little crate from earlier is you can like pull the wheel pieces and wrap it from there or you can just go underneath it and hook it on to it then come off with it like so and also if you got the carriage part of the conveyor transport can do the same thing. So hook on and then lift up like so. But like if you recall or if you've remembered this scene in the film, it, it's supposed to use rope, some like ropes or cables to like go vertically like that. But I don't know why they did that. But whatever, it is what it is. And let's see, get this up. So now we're on to the final vert on this. Once I get it all out. So now the verdict. So overall, I think this is which a uh, pretty cool set alongside the Im Imperial Convey X Transport, one of the good scenes of Solo. But at least you also get uh, two new and exclusive minifigures, uh, Rio Durant and Val. Uh, first time in a set. Like, will they appear in sets later? I don't know. But I guess time will tell. But at least have a couple good features of it and everything. And if you're looking to pick up this set, then go ahead and pick it up. And if you're looking to like, get this to go along with the Conveyx Transport, then get both of them. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.